here we are in the attic of the Grange building. Here's the hole I just came up through. Uh, you can see the date and apparently the bats have gone off to hibernate now because there's no bats up here. Uh, I'm going to show you around the attic and uh, there's some artifacts and things up here and uh, we'll, we'll look those things over. Apparently there's some dead bats around. Well, I see some dead babies. Apparently they didn't make it. I'm looking at those now. But anyway, okay. Here up here at the top, just in the open hole, there seems to be an old frame or something that doesn't have anything in it. I'll check it out later, but that's what that is. You can see all the holes uh, through the back of the building here. A lot of light coming through. Uh, a lot of work that needs to be done in filling these um, holes in so bats can't get back in. Um, we're going to move around here. You can see down here between the uh, joists that the guano is somewhat here. It doesn't seem as thick as we originally thought, but now here's the chimney, and it's very interesting because I don't know if you can tell here in this video, but this chimney is way out of alignment. As you can see, they apparently build up to here, and then it looks like it's almost a foot out of alignment. And they built over here to the side quite a bit to make it come out evenly. Uh, the base of the chimney up here seems to be uh, have mortar in it, but I see what Ted Williams meant by up here at the top. You can see that there's absolutely no mortar at all. I can see daylight through there. So, now down below here at the base of the chimney are all of the gas light fixtures, some of which we had found in the basement. Uh, there's the old control box. It looks somewhat like the items that I found at the old Church of Christ up the street. There's apparently a lot of birds been up here. There's a lot of hay and stuff like that in these corners. There's one of the old light fixtures right there. A little more decorative one. Sitting with those the rest of those things. Here's the other side of the chimney. Uh, it's quite... It's just a little chimney inside here really. As you can see by the side. Not much to it. But the top once again is quite loose. Now here shows the electrical connections up here. They seem to be quite old. And also up here you see this pipe which is the old pipe for the gas lights. Still connected and uh, running the length of the attic. Now up here in the boards you can see the roof boards here and you can see that the only layer up here uh, of roofing is just the tin roofing. Okay, now I'm at the front of the attic now. Uh, you can see right down here where there's a pipe still coming through the ceiling from the gas lights. And uh, here's the pipe that I showed you before, looking back from where I've been. Down there, you can see the other end of the attic, see all the light coming through. Now I'm at the the front of the attic and this is showing here where the guano is about a foot thick. And this is right under the peak here where they come in. And you can see it just seems to be really thick between that entrance and exit point there. There is of course, some between the other ones, but it's not quite as thick. 
Now, of course, I'm standing where bats would normally be hanging on these rafters and places here. Uh, and over here. Okay. Now, here's a little ladder here built on the wall. And up above here in the peak, you can see one of the main uh, entrance points right there. Okay. So I'm showing uh, above the emergency door here. I guess there must be a hole there. I've seen sunlight coming through. But now I'm just panning the the attic. Apparently there's still some bats up here because I hear bats at the other end. Uh, but it's really, it's all open. Actually, it's really quite good construction up here. Um, it's not, it's all one big open space. It's really quite nice. It's really quite unbelievable, but these beams, or I guess these joists or whatever they are, going across the attic span the entire le uh, width of the building. There's no break in them like there usually is. They're just one big long uh, plank and they look to be about two or two and a half inches wide uh, by six inches in width but the length of them is about 24 or 26 feet long. Now you can see down here where the pigeons and birds apparently come in. This is in the front peak on the community association side. Not the peak, but the in the eaves. The, the other end doesn't seem to have that, but the other end isn't broke off outside either. Now you can see up here in the peaks how that's constructed. And I've noticed up here above me just down the way, there's still, uh, let's see, right down here, there's still a few bats left up here. They look like babies. Here's a look at the chimney again. A lot of mud wasps and things up here. But uh, especially right here, you can see the gaps. They're just hanging. Uh, some of the metal roofing doesn't sound as though it's tight. Because once in a while I hear roofing kind of bouncing up and down. So I, I'm not too sure about that. Now I can see right here. I can see right out through to daylight in the chimney. I'll shut the night shot off. You can see how much light actually comes in. You can see. So that's not too good a condition, that's for sure. There's, there's a bat up here as I'm talking, making noise. But there's one last look here at the gas lighting system. Uh, we need to get these things out of here before the next spring when the bats come back.